Hey everybody, it's Matthew Lundy of Remedy Arms here with my uh, latest project. Um, obviously, for those of you who are familiar with Nerf, it's a demolisher, um, but it's been heavily modified. Uh, I call it the Banshee, and we'll get into why that is later on in the video. Um, but uh, just going over the aesthetics, uh, I fabricated a, uh, a custom uh, motor end bell cover, and that was necessary because of the 180 motors that I used in this build. Um, on the flip side, I have a uh, Blaster Smiths UK 3D printed battery cover, uh, box cover, um, and that was to make room for the uh, 2S LiPo pack that this thing runs off of. I upgraded the wiring to uh, 16 gauge, I believe. Um, I put in a, uh, a 5 amp micro switch and uh, streamlined the process, pulled out all the, you know, the thermistor and the locks and various other things. Um, just try to get the most power out of this blaster. Um, as far as the bodywork is concerned, this is the original foregrip for the uh, missile launcher attachment, um, but I decided I didn't want all that bulk up front, and uh, I kind of liked the idea of it looking a little bit like a, a bolt gun from uh, like a Warhammer 40k universe. Um, as far as the colors are concerned, I went for bright colors because I intend to use this in uh, outside battles and stuff and I uh, don't need anybody thinking it's a real firearm or anything. I um, guess we'll uh, switch over to do a, uh, um, a, a noise comparison with uh, a stock strife. Um, then you'll get to know why I like to call this the Banshee. Here's my mostly stock Strife. I say mostly stock because it's stock motors, um, I have stock voltage, I just took out the locks and whatnot. But uh, you can hear it. That's what a Strife sounds like on stock voltage. Got a, you know, a nice little hum to it, maybe like a, like a uh, um, hair dryer or something like that. Now for the, uh, the comparison with the, the Banshee here. You can hear that hum a little bit louder. When this, uh, it's not it's not fully charged right now, when the, the pack is at optimum voltage, it, this thing screams. Um, but we'll do a little firing demo for you. There's a little bit of wind uh, going on here, so I'm not gonna go for you know range or, or, or try to measure it in that case, but I'm gonna go for high rate of fire just to see what, uh, show you guys what this thing can do. Ready? Mm-hmm. So that's the uh, 10 round magazine. Um, fires off about as fast as you can pull the trigger. Um, I will say one thing about the uh, demolisher trigger. Um, it, it, it does lead to a little trigger fatigue um, with rapid fire, um, your, your finger will get tired. So uh, I think my next big build is going to be a rapid strike. So you guys can look forward to that. If you're watching this on my blog, or uh, yeah, if you're watching this on my blog, thanks for reading. Um, please follow my blog. If, uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube, uh, check out my blog. It'll be in, a uh, link will be in the description box. Um, either way, thanks for watching.